Hi Stampers, it's Christy with Stampin' Texas. Well, I have got the cutest little treat holder I wanted to share with you. Um, of my friend, my Canadian friend and demonstrator, uh, Genevieve Co. Uh, showed me how to make this cute little box and I thought I have got to share that with everybody. It is just adorable. And the best part is you just cut and score your paper and away you go. So let me show you what we're gonna use. We're gonna use the Birthday Bloom stamp set. This is such a cute stamp set. Absolutely love it. And then I chose the English Garden Designer Series paper. It's in the annual catalog. And the paper is cut to four by eight inches. So you just need a piece of four by eight inch uh, designer paper. I'm gonna set that out of the way for a moment. Get my score tool in view so I can give you the measurements on, oops, on the scoring. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the four inch side along the top first, and you're gonna score at the one inch mark and the three inch. Now mine is already pre-scored, so I'm just gonna kinda show you how to do it like that. One inch and three inch. Then you're gonna turn your paper, and then along the eight inch side, you're gonna score at three and one fourth, and then four and three quarters. Okay, so that's all you need. That score tool is very handy. And then at this point, we're gonna just start folding on all the score lines, folding back and forth. We want that paper to be able to bend and move as we use it. These are so quick and simple to make, really. So now at this point, what you're gonna do is I just laid my paper uh, vertically fold up one side like this, and now I wanna take the corner and fold it up to this score line, but not past it. So I usually just put my finger right there. So all we're wanting to do is give it a press, and then the same thing on this side. Fold up that corner up to it. Okay, then we're gonna open it up, turn it around, and do the same thing on this side. Corner up to the score line. Just don't want it to go past. That's I was trying to stop it from going past that score line. And then the same thing here. Alrighty. So this is what you have so far. Now at this point, you can already kind of see we're gonna get the box going like that and we're gonna make, <clears throat> excuse me, my goodness, we're gonna make the inside pop out. But what we've gotta do first is put some tape on each little deal. And I'll tell you what, this tear and tape is so nice, so easy. So we're gonna put a piece of tape on all four sides. Now just make sure your tape does not go past where that diagonal is. See that diagonal? You don't want your tape to go past that. You really do have to have a strong adhesive. So tear and tape works well. There are great adhesives. I would not recommend like snail. It would, I don't know. I wouldn't trust it. I'd want a stronger adhesive. But then what you're gonna do is once you've put those pieces down, just go through and take the backing off. I love little boxes like this. They make great little gifts for shower, wedding. So you're gonna just fold them in. See how our box is already kind of forming? Now at this point, I just pull it out. Yay! And there's our little box. Isn't that fun? So next, I want to continue using this big old scallop. This is the two and three eighths scallop punch and I just cut out some soft suede cardstock. And then this is the one and three quarters circle punch. Those work very well together. So I just cut that from white. And with the birthday bloom stamp set, I'm going to use the for you as well as these little dots and the little flowers. I'm gonna stamp the sentiment for you right here in the middle. that. 
And I'm going to leave that open because I think I'm going to put some little cute dots on it. The other color I wanted to pull in was Hello Honey. That was some of the color on the paper. So I'm just going to put a few of those. And now I'm going to add a few of those little dots just, just for cuteness. Like that. Yay! I like it. So let's put some snail adhesive on that. And we will stick that on. And then you can use a dimensional or snail on this. But since I have snail handy, I'll just use that. Even some tear and tape would probably be good. And then the last thing you need to do is let me show you a little trick with the triple, oh goodness, can I think of the name? No, hang on a sec. Let me show you a little trick with a punch to get that to go through. Hang on. I have got the Curvy Corner Trio Punch, and that is actually how I punch through the top here to put the uh, lace in, or the ribbon. So let me show you a little tip. What I did is I held the front and the back of the little treat together, like so. Now it's gonna take a little pressure to push through here, but I'm using this little slot, and I'm going to put that all the way up. Like that. Then give it a good press, and there we go. Now, the neat thing is that does not have to be exactly level. It doesn't have to be exactly straight, because when you put in your ribbon, it kind of covers it up anyway. Now, this is a delightful Dijon lace ribbon. It's so pretty. I didn't have any Hello Honey or Soft Suede, so I thought, hey, this is actually pretty good. This works really well. So I just hold that together there. Let's see if I can do this on camera. Maybe just do in one corner of it through there will work better. There we go. So pull that through. And there you have it. Isn't that cute? What a fun treat holder. Now I put in little lifesavers. I've put in chocolates. I've put in Hershey Kisses. Um, so any little, nice little fun treat you can put in there. But what a fun treat holder. Thanks so much Genevieve for sharing your fun project with me. So for more fun project ideas, be sure to visit my website and look in the description box below for the links to all the products used today. Thanks so much. Happy stamping.